outside. Yeah. And it's the first house. This one here? Yeah. Oh, yes, it one. is. I called him before. I asked yeah. him, please wake up, take a shower, man. Oh. <laughs> While we wait for Connor. <laughs> Andreas Cooper's entertainment. Isn't that Connor there? This is brother. All right, dude. Hey, Connor. Just uh, sk skiving on the chores there, Connor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, perfect timing. Getting your little oh, brother yeah. to deal with it. Play some blues. Oh, yeah. So, we've got Connor Cotterill in the car now. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how we met. Um, Can you? No, not exactly. You, I, I know you and me before. met first. Oh yeah, yeah, how we met before is, um, I guess that we met in a, here in the pub. Yeah. In King Eddie's? Right, okay. Uh, King Eddie's is a good place to meet people. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the way, because a lot of people put like ads up to meet other musicians. I think the best way is to just get out there yeah. and just physically be meeting people, hearing I, people play. That's great, I met yeah. Conor That's how you met. Sour, yeah, we yeah. made the drummer of the band. We made the band just by playing over there. Let's have a listen to this guy, see if he's any good. Oh, he's like playing Bob Marley. No cry. Hey. Oh, oh. Those guys are dancing. No. It's gonna be alright. Oh, look, that's where we were last time. Oh, yeah. Bully and Golden. Joan Littlewood. Oh, we're gonna go past like a quite an interesting pub in a minute. It's where. Oh yeah. Is it Metallic? No. The birthplace of Iron Maiden. That's it. Cart and horses. So like, film that sign there. Mm. Ah. Okay. Do you want me to just run in oh, yeah, and grab come. some things? Does anyone want anything specific? Come in. Uh, you want to come in? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you, we're doing a beer tasting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this one is quite nice because it looks like it's got a dragon on it and I'm Welsh. Uh, so don't wanna go against my own people. This one looks gross. Superbock. Like the name's already horrible, so Sagris is kind of Yeah. Is this kind of like Sagris? French? European? Sagres. Italian. Spanish. Yeah. No, like Italian. Okay. We've got the classic. No, people quite like this one. Efes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Andreas wanted. No, 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 no. Which Jeff ever, Goldblum actually I don't used know to ever, advertise. Ever drunk a Holston film? Did he? Yeah. Okay, this is the uh, <laughs> beer tasting sessions of Flat Fifty TV. So, which ones do you want to try first, guys? Should we try the Jamaican? Yeah, that is my Dragon stout. Dragon stout. Oh, I don't like stout. I pass that one. For well, you have to try it. Have to try it. Just have a salute. Salute. La Fifty TV, episode four. Show Feliciano. Do you know this guitarist? Show Feliciano. Show Feliciano. No. Well, it's going to allow me with you when I see a picture. I I really look like him, it's so bad. Like what, well, just normal? <laughs> Who are your biggest influences, like guitar wise? Well, the, um, I was thinking about this today because I knew about this interview. And I can say, uh, well, Jimi Hendrix is my god in guitar. Yeah. And David Gilmore is the universe. Okay. So David the, Gilmore? Yeah, they are the two big influences. I was like David Gilmour when I was young. He was Pink Floyd. really my yeah, I was yeah. really mad with David Gilmour. Yeah. Like really, I learned how to play guitar because I really wanted to play mm. Pink Floyd like. songs. Was so uh, influenced by Dark Side of the Moon. Right. Okay. So instead of going to going to church on Sunday, I remember all my life listening Dark Side of the Moon always Sundays. On Sundays. Yeah. No wonder yeah. you. Um, you love all like psychedelic rock then. If yeah. as, as a kid you're brought up on it like a staple, like mm -hmm. other people go to church, you're made to listen to Dark Side of the Moon. No. I want to go and play with my friends! Listen to Dark Side of the Moon! <laughs> yeah, no, no. No. So like I have the long hair, I wanted to look like David Gilmour, I was so <laughs> mad, uh, everything mm. was about Pink Floyd. Yeah. Mm. Who were your influences, Colin? Who did yeah. you want to look like? Jimmy Page was probably like yeah. someone I like, worshipped for yeah. a long while. Yeah. 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 I used to go to sleep, you know, listening to Led Zeppelin and like trying to drum along to it in bed mm. before I'd oh, wow. I'd be like obsessed with Led Zeppelin. 
So you, yeah. when you had a Pink Floyd was for you, like, it was letter. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> you, when we were at my house and you were like listening to certain things, like you were loving like Fleetwood Mac and Peter Green and that, yeah? Yeah. You've been listening to them for a while. Mm. Mm. Uh, old mm. school, Eric Clapton. Yeah. John Mayer on the Blues Breaks and Cream and the uh, mm. Yardbirds and stuff. His Clapton was my main. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. So when you were a kid, you were just like up for playing any instrument, but then like how did bass become your yeah. thing? Um, <laughs> well, because he, he played play guitar. Play? He's well, like, I play guitar. We were having play. lessons. <laughs> well, I was really bad teacher. Really and then went to start a band. And so you should play bass. No, Wait, but you, you two were having lessons together. Yeah, guitar teacher. lessons. Teacher. He, he went to have a yeah. classical lessons, and later I realized that Connor really is amazing. Uh, yeah, I was looking to make a band, and I knew that Connor is, uh, we really get connected very well, and mm. it was very easy to work with him. Uh, so I said to Conor, hey, why not make a band and you want to improve even your guitar skills because he wanted to play classical guitar, mm. so take the bass because you're going to have the fingers. I love the uh, fact that he made you play bass, this is so well, funny. I was really resentful at first, I was really pissed off because oh, I really didn't want to play bass, I wanted to play leaders. Oh my god! <laughs> no way, you're yeah. such a good bass player. It's so I good. Mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, And then I didn't speak to you or see you for a few months or a year. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then the next thing, I'm in uh, the Stratford workshops where Dom was, Mustard Seed Room is and Billy Wiz's room, yeah. jamming in Billy Wiz's. Uh -huh. And next door, we can hear a band playing. And the next minute, he comes out of the door with Simon. And I'm like, hey, how's it going, Andres? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah. Were well, you rehearsing next door to us? Yeah, we were rehearsing. Oh my God, that was you. What a fucking awesome sound you've got. Who's your singer? Because I knew that wasn't yeah, his voice. Was. Yeah, I remember Just that. Just voice, Johnny. Like I remember that day. Um, Johnny, he was very good looking. And, um, um, and the thing, I was a little jealous because I knew that I don't, <laughs> don't want to be the singer anymore. So I tried to... Uh, I said, like, oh, it's too much. It's too much. The band, some sort of like a... Like a grunge band, like a... What, and you thought that Johnny singing was too sad to him, it was too much? No, like a, the idea of some Sarawa, like a grunge band, like a wasted band, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he came with too this, good a job. He came very, like, a, yeah, with this character. He so. looked too good. <laughs> too good, yeah. So. Yeah. I, I so now is Nerve Collection. Oh, no, and Nerve Collection, are you available on Spotify? Yeah, oh. we have the Sansara song. Oh, the Sansara. Yeah. Yeah. And what are your sort of top gigs together as Nerve Collection? Top gigs? Yeah. yeah. The festival that was the yeah, that was That's uh, pretty much memorable. Yeah. Then we were all there. Sarah before uh, Johnny and later with Johnny and uh, we we've been playing many many times over there. Like the one in Camden that we play in, uh, in a very big stage. Oh, yeah, it's called Camden Assembly now. Oh, yeah. Camden Assembly. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where that was amazing. Before. It was a venue before, wasn't it? Okay. Um, Not Barfly. Barfly. Oh, is it? Yeah. Next up, the Portuguese Super Bock. Mm. Chin chin, everybody. Oh, that no stranger, I, I think I prefer the dragon stout. Yeah. <coughs> the dragon I've gone heavy. She's an old like. soul, okay. She, she likes a good stout. Bit of pie and mash and stout. I like corned beef. Corned beef? If you go through my cupboard, you'll find all sorts of 
bottles, like water oh, and food. Oh, lovely. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. This is an interesting thing. So, out of a band, who do you think is the maddest? Drummers? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Really? Is it, do you think, because they have to split their brain so much? <laughs> I just mad. <laughs> so you just is... say you miss Johnny. Yeah, Cheers yeah, to Johnny. Yeah, we're talking about two good vocalist. <laughs> Johnny, why do you leave us? List. I was going to say, I mean, I don't know what time it is oh, in New God. Zealand, but if what if like we were to call him and FaceTime and say, uh, what, are your, what are your influences, Johnny? Should we? Should we? If it's that? what oh, time is it in New Zealand? Funny. Just work out what time it is, because if it's um, five a.m., don't call him. Uh, okay. Hang on a minute. I think it's half six a.m. in New Zealand right <laughs> half now. Half six. Yeah, I don't know if we should call him at half six in the morning. I think only Andre is actually doing that though. Maybe he's calling. Should we call him? Should we call him? Go on, try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Sorry, Johnny, by the way. <laughs> Sorry about this. Johnny, no, we just. You heard me telling them not to. Like, you know what I said, like, when this Andres is calling me right now. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, well. Oh, no, Johnny, um, we are making an interview here with Flat 50 now. Hi. We just miss you a lot. Uh, we miss you a lot. Come back. It's like watching someone's nan. Yeah. Hi, Johnny, too. Something. Johnny, hey, lovelies! Haha, <laughs> this may me smile. Uh, oh, full of joy. Smile full oh, so of joy. did he get a message back? Yes. So Johnny's influences us for singing. He's in the, He's in now. Jeff Buckley, oh, Dave Grohl, Otis Redding, Jim Morrison, and Dave Byrne from Talking Heads. He, he's living there. So are we, we going to move on to number three now, Andreas? Oh, yeah. It's kind of boring. I just do right. this one. Uh, I don't actually know if I've had that before. Oh, it's terrible. It's just. I did it because I have a friend that he drinks that. And he's so it's in his memory. It's in his memory, I mean. <laughs> so which classical guitarists what do you love the most as a couple? Oh well, uh, Paco and Lucia. Hey! Paco and Lucia, they're, they're, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, this one, I prefer this. This one? Is this, are we going to Turkey now? Is this Turkish? Maybe, for example, to release my music. Moving on to Efe's Draft. Mmm. Thanks for watching. Yeah. 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 Yeah.